In this video, I will explain some of the functionality in the shop video software. Okay, I assume that you already figured out that this will open a little window that is just a standard window to record video. And that every video that you record will be shown in this middle bar and this bar will get longer and longer you can scroll over it but the newest video the latest recording is always in the top that about the recordings how to play a recording just take your recording and drag it into the other player this works with your mouse but it will also work if you have a touch screen with your hands now let's go back to where we were if you want to play videos just hit the play button pause it where you want use the bar over here to drag the video into a position that you like or use the scroll wheel on your mouse to move the video frame by frame make sure that in the settings of your computer you have set that the mouse wheel is only going one line at a time otherwise you might turn the wheel and it will not progress one frame of the video so if you have 30 frames a second it will not go one frame but it might go three or five frames which can be very confusing so make sure that your mouse settings in your pc are set to one line at a time now about drawing in your video we're going to demonstrate this with only one video because normally we have two videos to compare next to each other but if you like you can go into the settings and say single video this will move the video bar to the left and now you can drag one of the videos in screen and if your camera was in uh, a landscape then you'll have your nice full, full video if the size of the video is not correct then you can always go to this measurement thing and then you have a little button over here in the bottom that will size the video exactly within the boundaries of your uh, program so if you make the program smaller or bigger this will have influence on what is going on so you can see that i already have a ruler over here and this ruler can be switched on or off by hitting the three little buttons over here and hitting the ruler button at the same time on and off to use the ruler you probably also want to use a drawing tool so make sure you set a color which is different from what you are actually having in the video so if your shop is mainly blue don't use blue if my background is green i'm not going to use green okay so once you have picked a color or a line the line thickness can also be set then you can just freehand draw on the video at this point when you have these three little selected all the mouse functions will be set to what you draw so it is hard to play the video you will just get blue dots on the play button once you close this now the button will function as normal now how to use the ruler the ruler first of course you switch the ruler on the ruler has a magnetic function that means that when you want to draw a line you only have to be very close to the edge of the ruler the top or the bottom and then the line will be automatically stick to the ruler in this case if the video camera was set nicely horizontal and the ruler is horizontal then you can counter on the fact that this line is on zero degrees if you want to rotate the ruler to measure an angle you simply place the mouse pointer somewhere in the ruler and you will notice that when you then roll the mouse wheel it will pivot the ruler will pivot around 
the mouse pointer. So the place of the mouse pointer has influence on how the ruler will rotate. So let's measure this item, this object that I have in my hands. And I'd like to know what angle it makes. So I place the ruler with the edge on the top of the item. I place my mouse pointer also on the top. And now I rotate left or right until it is perpendicular with the object, which is approximately 18 degrees and 17 degrees. Look at this. It will stay the same. So now I can just draw a line along the ruler. And we know now that this was 17 degrees. This is how you work with the ruler. If you don't like all the drawings, just get rid of the, uh, the, the ruler and then get rid of all the colors. Done. Now, other settings. Uh, we have settings for the play speed. You can play slow motion uh, if you like. The button is in the, in the bottom. Uh, the volume of the video, you can switch it on or off. It's de by default, it is off. And, of course, you want to go back to the two videos. Just switch off the checkbox for a single video. And remember, this bar over here has influence on how long your videos will be stored on your local disk. Now, most uh, programs, they eat up disk space more and more. Well, you have their videos that you don't even want to use. So in this case, the default setting is 21 days, and then the recording will be removed from disk when you switch on the program. If you like a, a longer retention time, just drag this bar and you can go up to a 105 days of storage of your videos. Of course, if you only like seven days, just go all the way to the side. I'll keep it on uh, 28 days or 21 days. And it will be okay. So something about the quality of the videos. Just use this to pick the quality of your uh, your camera. The resolution. And you'll be fine. I hope that's enough explanation for now. And if you have more questions, you can always react to this video on YouTube. And uh, I will get back to you sooner or later.